Asher has returned, standing in front of a home that at one time was a church here in Sacramento in Northern California. But some of you will never believe that that's really where I am because some of you still believe that I'm insecure about my hair loss, which is a reflection of you because you, my friend, are the one who is insecure, which is why you keep spending your time watching my videos of me filming in front of a house that used to be a church. There we go. Let's get started. Another comment based on the video, balding at 37, what do I do for a living? We've got a comment right here, and here's what we're going to look at. Quote, this seems sincere. I doubted the sincerity when you said this exact message in a boastful kind of way, but I can understand your character better now. I'm not personally a hyper-capitalistic slave to money. I think that's not the optimal way to spend the best years of my life, but there's no way to, there's no correct way to spend one's life to each his own, they say. There's nothing wrong with being driven by wealth. A good father provides. It's just that idea is so foreign to me. All of our lives are ultimately meaningless and we are buried in the same dirt. I just rather pursue wisdom, truth, and meaning. Wisdom is experience. Truth is a philosophical way of thinking. And meaning is none, which equals nihilism. End quote. That's from our friend Stormy Ascent. And as I make it very obvious, this is not actually a channel on YouTube about hair loss. It is a channel about psychology. Because why? Because remember, you reduce me to hair loss, I reduce you to psychology. That's what this channel is actually about. And I'm, I'm very confident of that. So I'm, I remind you of that. That house is very red. All right, so here we go. Let, let's deconstruct this. Because I agree of a, a lot of what's in this comment left from our friend Stormy Ascent, who is, again, at a place in his life where he's sorting out his own identity, which so many of you are. You're talking to a man who's pretty much got his identity figured out, we're always evolving, of course, but I'm dealing with demographics, ages 18 to 34, two thirds of you, and you're still sorting out your identity, which this whole concept of hair loss wrecks your former sense of identity and is a lot of the reason that you're here. Oh wow, the lighting suddenly got good. Well, it's actually, that's shade. And I think it's important to show you the two extremes between the light and the dark, because I do not want to manipulate your perspective of what's going on by always shooting in good light or in bad light. So going on the walks of the streets of California and Sacramento is a great way to do that. So ultimately this comment, here's what I think about it. I think that it's being proposed that I, and I want to quote this right, that I, it's being proposed that I am personally a hyper capitalistic slave to money. That's being proposed here in this comment. And those kids in that house, they have a pool, so I'm hearing them splash in the water. So it's being proposed that I am, again, quote, a hyper-capitalistic slave to money. Okay, so fair enough, because I made it very obvious in the video that this is a comment of, uh, that I work a full-time job making great money in HR. I also have a wife who's making even better money than me uh, in Nashville. Then we also share an SEO job when we get the kids to bed. Plus I've got two YouTube channels, which are doing quite well. And I also make money from my blog, Family Friendly Daddy Blog. It's so popular that companies want to do guest blog posts and they pay me at least $100 a pop. And there's more proof that I'm in Northern California, those palm trees. So I, I got a lot of money coming in. And it's a matter of managing it. It's not a matter of me making money for the sake of the American dream as far as Oh, look at me, look how much I have. It's a matter of me outsmarting the American dream and actually getting ahead by paying off my mortgage early. This is a tree tunnel, by the way. It's probably symbolic of a lot of our hair loss journey, isn't it? So, it could be proposed that I myself, as a 37-year-old dad married with two kids and lots of jobs, that I, it could be perceived that I am a hyper-capitalistic slave to money. But see, then I would turn the, the camera on you because I, as a host, hold you accountable to what you say in the comment section on this channel. So what I would say is, if I am a slave to money, 
I do not have a problem with that being said, but ultimately what's the end result? To be rich and have a swimming pool and a bunch of cards and dark barking dogs? Is that what the point is? Materialism? I say no, it's to outsmart materialism. Again, by already being debt free, making lots of money so that I can pay off my mortgage early. Again, even my cars are paid off and have been for a while. We bought my wife's car with cash, but it's all to pay off our mortgage early so that once we are making no payments on it, we virtually have no payments. And then if we sold the house, we'd make a lot of money because the value of our house went up dramatically the year after we bought it. This is a church that's been here since 1951. I went there the last time I was in town, which was three years ago. It's a Presbyterian church. All right, so am I a slave to money by default? Let's go ahead and say I am, but look at where my focus is compared to many Americans with this so-called American dream when it's really just about materialism instead of being like Nick Shell, your goal is to outsmart the American dream to where you're making money while you sleep, which I am already doing from these YouTube videos and from Amazon Prime when people click the links and buy the Remington Shortcut Pro and other things that I put links to. So, because I'm currently making about $85 a month off of those Amazon links. All right, so I'm a slave to money. But as I turn the cameras back to you, then it makes me wonder, if you're watching this channel and you're not a slave to money, what are you? Well, I would say, are you a slave to hair loss? Are you a slave to your identity, your physical identity? Are you a slave to vanity? Am I a slave to vanity? I've already proposed that ideally I'm not because I'm trying to beat this system by being such the side hustler that I am. I also say, and it's very unpopular for me to say this because people want to tag me as too religious or too much, uh, oh, he's so preachy, he's so condescending because he's against pornography, right? But I would say, if you're addicted to pornography, if you're looking at pornography on a regular reoccurring basis, you're a slave to that. And how, how vain is that? Oh, but Nick, you're being preachy if you say that that's vanity. Well, see, that's the thing. When we try to call each other out for being vain or having silly ambitions, then it puts us in a place we, where we may feel uncomfortable because that's an attack against our identity. But see, it, it's not an attack from you to say that I'm a slave to capitalism because again, my motive, my motive is different. So in the end, I think here's, here's the challenge back. If I'm a slave to money, but as long as my intentions are to outsmart the system, the silly slavery system of money, by outsmarting it, right, so that I'm not slaving away at a job the rest of my life to ultimately retire early and live off of supplemental income that inside hustling that happens when I'm sleeping, like these videos that people are watching all the time, I would say that what about all the people who are worried about hair loss? How vain is that? Yes, we all get buried in the dirt. I agree, but I feel that ultimately the things that inspire me have a meaning. And yes, I am a father. And for so many people watching my channel, you're nowhere near that in your life. And it's easy to say, well, don't be a slave to money. But what, what happens if you get a girl pregnant? And whether you're married or not, now that's even, now you've got this responsibility. What do you do? So money does matter at some point, unless you amazingly never have a kid at any point in your life. There's another palm tree to prove that I truly am in Northern California. So ultimately, if you can live a life where you never have a family, never get yourself in that situation, then I guess you can get away with not being a slave to money. But ultimately, we all end up in this situation unless we choose to outsmart it. Here's what I say. My rebuttal is this. I am a slave to money. My motives are true. But I'm not a slave to hair loss. I'm a slave, if anything, to making money off of people who are slaves to hair loss. And I think it's slavery to be addicted to pornography. To be addicted to anything is slavery. If there's anything I'm addicted to, then let's say it's making money. But again, my motives are true and different than most people. I brag about having paid off cars and that the only debt I have is my home, which if we can pay it off early and outsmart the system of paying all this interest, then we win in the end. 
we could win in our 40s and win this game. So, I, I say it's slavery to be addicted to pornography. Oh, that's preaching, Nick. You're so judgmental. And I say it's silly to be a slave to worrying about your hair. That's vanity. I say that is slavery. I say that is silly. Whose side are you on?